Market Wrap Up brought to you by Hilltop Securities. We continue our South by Southwest coverage here in downtown Austin. It is absolutely electric. Not only is the music fest underway, the film fest is underway as well. So many red carpet premieres, including the one here at the Paramount Theater behind me. Our Jordan Higgs caught up with several celebrities over the weekend at the red carpets happening across Austin. Take a look at this. You can stop the tune, but don't stop the beat, 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 beat. It's showtime. We're with Tony Hawk at the premiere of his new HBO Max documentary, Until the Wheels Fall Off. It's an honor that Sam chose me to focus on, and it's really scary, but at the same time, kind of freeing. All right, be honest. Do you think that you broke your leg because I sucked so hard at Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 when I was in first grade? Yep, it finally came back to bite me. Came back. Yep. I'm sorry. So many people make me crash on the game that it finally culminated in this, so I it, get it, better at it. South by Southwest premiere of We Crash. We just saw Kyle Marvin roll around on the ground That's for right. two minutes and we That's love it. it. And can I can I wipe you down a little bit? Because you got yeah, the drip on, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna I wanna mess up the drip, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I love your dress. I love it. It's very sparkly. What were you going for? A disco ball chic today? What was going on? What was going in your head? You got it. Kind of like Joan of, Joan of Arc went to the disco. Now, I hear Jared Leto can be sort of intense to work with. Did you have to, like, smack him around a bit on set? You know what I'm saying? Did you have to, like, did, I mean, you have to flex that you're Anne Hathaway, you know what I'm saying? Princess Diaries, you feel me? You're very sweet, but first of all, that's not my way anyway. <laughs> I, like, uh, I, I, I go through love, but also, um, Jared just wasn't Jared on set. He he was only Adam Newman, and I was Rebecca Newman, and we were very in love, and we had each other's backs, and he was a joy to work with. I've noticed lately the roles you've been taking have all been oh, compatible with your sick man being there. Have you been doing that on purpose? Oh, well, I mean, Paolo didn't have very much hair at House of Gucci, so... You kept yeah. some. He had a little, he had a flair in the back. Yeah, you Party in some. the back. Party yeah. in the back. Did you at work an actual desk job for any time to like actually prepare for this role? You know, the, the closest I've gotten to a desk is like being in the studio with 30 Seconds to Mars. There you go. He spent a lot of time behind the computer and, 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 and kind of behind a desk. I did dig deep though with the research and it was it was one of those roles, you know, because the story is so recent and relevant, it was just a ton of material. So I was able to kind of bury myself in that and I loved it. If I get a platinum trophy on the new ones, will you give me a signed skateboard? I will, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm gonna show you my I'm gonna show you my platinum walk. trophy. If I can walk. Okay. <laughs> All right, joining me now is Jordan Hicks. He is already moving and grooving, and that's just because it is so electric here in downtown Austin. So many people excited about the in-person South by Southwest returning. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Woo! I had quite the weekend, like yeah. those, like seeing all those people. First of all, Anne Hathaway touched me twice. She I'm, touched me. This is the arm. Listen, Anne and I go yeah. way <laughs> back to Devil Wears Prada. I oh. saw that and I was so jealous. Mm. You bringing out Princess Diaries, so to that took her, her back. I had to let her know. I had to let her know she's a legend, you know what I'm saying? And, and she had to, you know, hold down the fort on set. And yeah. she gave me a pretty good answer. She did that. But here's the thing. She was fun. Yes. She was engaging. Yes. But she was also sending a message with the purse that That's she had right. with her. That's Tell right. us about that. So her purse had the, uh, the, had the trans flag on it. It was the, the blue, the pink, the white. Had that trans flag on it. She wanted to show since she was in Texas that, you know, she's out here advocating for the safety of all trans kids with the, the bills going through the legislature and all that, Governor Abbott and all that good stuff. So she was here to show her support mm -hmm. for trans youth here in Texas. And I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's sending messages through yeah. their art, yeah. through their purses yeah. and the like. Right. You also spent some time with Tony Hawk. It is amazing 
that he even made it here. Right. He went through quite the ordeal recently. Right. He broke his femur, I believe, in four places. <laughs> and, and as a skateboarder, yeah. that's how you make your money, right? So we were very shocked to see him come to the red carpet. But he persevered. He said this was one of the hardest things he's had to do is persevere through that injury. And I'm glad that he was able to come in and take some of my silly questions. I don't know why he, he did. Like, he was a good was sport. Great. He was great. He was a great sport. Tony Hawk, you know, everyone loves him. That's why That's why they made the movie. That's why everybody, That's why he's a legend. Yeah. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. You're our GOAT. You're yeah. covering South by for us this week. Music Festival. What are you most looking forward to for the remainder of South by? I can't wait for people to see uh, my music video on uh, lines and our feelings towards them. It's sort of a, a, a recreation of what we did last year for all of my seasoned viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, I also want people to get inside of that Creative Industries Expo. I got a chance to get in there Sunday and play around with a bunch of stuff in there. They're going to love the journey that we took inside the Creative Industries Expo. It's going to be great. And plus more a local artists, yes. putting on more Austin artists here during South by Southwest. This is their big chance, you were talking about it earlier, to get put on the biggest stages. And I love watching it because, yeah. you know, if I cover you first and you get big, you know what I'm saying? Remember us, all right. So glad to have you with us. So glad to have you with us. Have a great time. We'll see you next time.